So firstly, when researching you know, any plastic uh, surgery procedure, firstly be realistic about uh, looking at before and afters that are similar to you. Secondly, I have a lot of patients coming with a photo from Instagram from one angle, you know, with the camera pointed like this, um, airbrushing, lighting, all that. I mean, I actually refuse to even discuss those types of images because I think they're highly unrealistic. So if you are gonna look at before and afters, look at them in lighting that is the same, also unaltered photos. I think a lot of patients present clothed photos to me uh, for breast before and afters in a bra or a swimsuit. Again, those really don't show the, the full picture and people need to be aware of that. The same with liposuction before and after images. There are some very unrealistic results shown. And then finally, have a list of questions that you have uh, gathered from the internet. We try to make sure people have enough time to ask all their questions and then you know go away and have a very careful think about um, the surgery. A lot of people always asking also especially during these times about payment plans uh, for cosmetic surgery. We really don't encourage that at all in our practice. I think people need to really make sure that they're financially comfortable when they come to surgery, um, that it's not something that's potentially going to strain them. And we try to provide a realistic representation of what surgery costs, but like anything, I think having a buffer and not financially straining yourself, saving the money is the best way forward with any surgery that is not covered by your health insurer or cosmetic.